This is probably the most advanced feed center there is in the salmon world. The main aim is to maximise growth of the fish with the world's best practice feed conversion. We recognise that Steinzuk had a, a vision from a technology point of view. This project has certainly contributed to about a 10% reduction in FCR. This feed centre is in Hobart in Tasmania. We have 11 feed workstations. Each feed station has a bank of 11 screens. We were able to observe what's happening in all the cages around Tazali's farming fish at a high resolution. I'm Leif Lunding, I'm the Chief Strategic Officer at Steinswick. I'm a salmon nerd. I've been doing this for 30 years or, or more, specialising in, in yeah. nutrition and, and fish farming. I can judge quite well things that has to do with efficiency and optimization. I doubt you will have anything this as elegant as here. It's pretty cool to have it in the middle of a big city and, and it works. It's producing the, the desired results and pretty uh, stoked to be, part, to be part of it. We have very high resolution on the cameras that, that requires uh, a very good network all the way from the cage to the barge and onwards to here. Quite demanding but very little downtime here so far so I'm, I'm really happy to see that. We thought that the Steinsvig solution was by far the strongest solution. My name is Matt Leary, I work for Tassau and I'm the Chief Information Officer. We ex originally explored the option of doing regionally based feed centres, but it, it actually quickly became apparent that the technology that was being brought to the table meant that it was just as easy for us to do one single feed centre. And so we, we quickly changed our, our vision and the, the vision for the project then became one state-of-the-art feed centre in Hobart, located at our head office. So feeding of the fish is a process that's very much a fish behaviour analysis process. So. Traditionally how that was done is you'd have feed operators sitting on a feed barge with a bank of computers and screens looking at video of the fish and how they behaved and reacted to the feeding to ensure that they were being fed as optimally as they could. I manage a team of 24 people who monitor the farms and feed the fish each day and our aim is to generate or grow as much biomass as quickly as possible whilst minimising feed waste. My name is Tim Shepherd. I'm the feed centre manager at Tassau. Now feeding's controlled centrally from the Hobart CBD and we have 11 feed technicians per shift controlling feeding of up to 19 farms. It's a collaborative environment where the feed technicians can share information as opposed to sitting on a feed barge by themselves for most of the day. They receive video footage real time of each pen and also combined with that is live information on temperature and also oxygen trends which we utilise when feeding the fish. The information that we get provided with in terms of dissolved oxygen and the temperatures and like the depth of the camera is also really useful. It's completely different for me, I'm used to watching fish above instead of below. <laughs> so We all think it's a lot easier to feed from you know the centralised area just for the fact that you know, you just have to concentrate on your job, you just have to worry about the fish and how they're going and how they're feeding and, and this ability to move them around, it's awesome. So. so the cameras we're using are the Orbit 3600 full HD camera. They're, they're excellent. I mean, the, the pictures tell the, the, the entire story, but that's been a transformative for us to have that level of clarity within our pens. Previously, we were using primarily analog, lower res cameras, and the video signal was always subject to interference and and very difficult to see what was going on. Um, what made that worse was that they were fixed position cameras. With the Orbit 3600 camera, it's, it's on, a, on a winch system so that the operators are able to fully traverse the camera across the pen and up and down from the, the, the entire water column. And that's given us unprecedented visibility into what's going inside the, our cages. In addition to using them to feed fish, we actually also use them to measure the condition of the net and look for other environmental factors like uh, mortality condition at the bottom of the net or also external predators that may be impacting our fish. We're collecting an inordinate amount of sensor data now as part of this project. Um, that's all being replicated through Steinsvik's cloud 
system, but we are able to get access to that data ourselves and we plan to use that to do some more advanced analytics uh, and data science related projects. TASA has been one of the first to implement uh, barge control, which makes it possible to steer most of the things on the barge from here. The Steinsvik barge control system allows us to monitor things like uh, bilge alarms, fire alarms, and also start up and shut down the barge remotely. You can imagine rolling out uh, essentially over 300 new cameras, the associated network and IT infrastructure to our farms over a period of time that's been about two years. It's been extremely challenging. Steinsvik have certainly been extremely flexible in how they've done that and that's been very much appreciated and I think a, an important success factor in how they've delivered the project to date. The relationship between TASA and Steinsvik has been one that you could call trustworthy and it, it helps having those relationships in rolling out a significant project like this. Going for a feed centre, it's, it's not necessary to, to feed fish properly, but it makes it a lot easier for a, for a big company like Tassel to become consistent. And that's, and that's what this uh, often is about. Steins have been committed to us to scale up their local presence. Uh, that for us was a very important um, signal from Steinsvik, it meant they were seriously committed um, from their head office in Norway. Uh, one thing I want to mention is uh, this tassel attitude when, they, did, when they, did, uh, they decided that this is uh, this is the method that they believe will produce the results. They, <coughs> they have been very thorough, uh, impressively thorough in, in all the things that, that's, that's necessary here. Picking the people, making sure that the working conditions inside here is, is optimized. It's super present and uh, exactly uh, what, what you need to have people thriving here uh, day in and day out for weeks and months and years. That's what you need.